Put on your brain condoms, everyone, because I am about to mind fuck you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I am Ryan Crawl, and I am here in front of the magnificent Parliament Building here in Budapest, Hungary, to bring you a very special video on the biggest secret of the universe that you don't even want to know about. <laughs> and that is that this is all an illusion. No, not this building in specific. <laughs> and this is not some green screen. This is actually real. I am actually really here. But what I mean by that is that this entire reality that we live in or that we think we live in is actually an illusion. You see, in both Hinduism and Buddhism, there's this concept called samsara, or also known as maya, which is the concept of this reality that we live in here, which is a false illusory reality and not the true absolute reality, which corresponds to the Christian concept of heaven and that being the true life. And this just being a preliminary to that. Okay, so it's basically the same concept. And the concept is that this is a reality that we are put in in order to test ourselves and help us to grow spiritually so that we may be able to attain the true life in the absolute reality that is being one with God. This is coming from the world's most ancient religion. And all the most popular religions today believe in heaven, that this is not the true life, right? So since basically every religion has always believed in that since time immemorial, it's probably true. But these, of course, are just spiritual theories and philosophies. Right? So let's get more into the scientific basis for believing in something like this. And why scientifically we might believe that this reality is not actually real and is just an illusion. Well, there are several different reasons for this and ways to look at it scientifically. First of all, in basic physics and quantum mechanics, everything in this material world is made up of particles that are spinning around and vibrating in order to create the illusion of physical substance, right? But in reality, these particles are infinitesimally small and there is infinitely more space between them than there is matter in the universe, okay? In fact, if you were to blow up the particles in the universe to be the size of the planets in the solar system, they would be so much further apart than even the planets in the solar system. So the only thing that gives this illusion of solidity is the fact that these particles are moving around so much to fill up the space more, right? But when you put these particles under a microscope, you find that they are super tiny and super far apart. So all of this physical matter is actually mostly made up of completely empty space. It's actually not even really solid at all. It's actually almost like it doesn't even really exist. It's all just a bunch of tiny particles vibrating, but in reality, it's really just vast, empty space. Now that is real, actual quantum physics for you. But on the other side of the coin, there is theoretical physics, and there is a physicist named Ian Williams Goddard, who I believe won some awards for his work. And he derived this theory he calls neutral mechanics, using Einstein's theory of relativity, in which he said that based on the law of relativity, you have to calculate every measurement from two different reference points. Just how with all mathematical equations, they must be done in two different ways to make sure that it actually works in different ways, right? The same thing happens with measuring anything in space-time reality. You need to measure it from two points. And especially with movement, it must be done from a still frame of reference and the moving frame of reference. And then all measurements when done in this way, which is the proper way to do measurements, always negate each other and neutralize each other and end up equaling zero. So this is what he called the rule of neutral mechanics which proves that space-time reality actually doesn't exist since all measurements of it actually neutralize each other and equal zero. And this theory is said to prove what shamans and monks and people like me have always talked about spiritually, which is that when you are meditating or using entheogens and having a mystical experience, you have this experience of transcending space-time reality and the material world becoming nothing, right? And you having this experience of oneness with the universe and infinity that transcends space-time reality and makes it dissolve into a void. So this theory proves that this space-time reality that we live in, in this material world, is actually not real and that we really do live in nothingness and just this illusion of materiality. Are you sure to take your daily dose of red pills consistently so that you can stay out of the matrix? The red pill is a medicine that only works if you take it in the right dosage and never miss a dose. One missed dose of red pills can mean turning back into a blue pilled limp dick simp under the sharp heel of the evil feminist matriarchy. 
So make sure you are subscribed and that your subscription is set to all so that you never have to miss one of your daily doses of the red pill because I'm releasing hot new red pill content every single fucking day just to make sure you don't have to. So make sure you will actually get notified when they are released because you know that YouTube doesn't want to show you things that don't align with its liberal leftist feminazi agenda and it shadow bans content creators like me who use free speech to speak out against these politics and stand up for the rights of the oppressed masses of men like you and me. And if you want to help me keep fighting the good fight, please donate using the PayPal link below so that I can keep this work alive because I simply cannot do it without the support of viewers like you. And be sure to spread these messages and share these videos with any other men you know who could use a nice big dose of red pills. Well, let's look at this astronomically as well. If you have ever researched our solar system and our galaxy and the rest of the universe, you know that we are all really just a speck of nothingness in the vast infinity of the universe, right? I mean, we live on a planet which is actually extremely tiny with a sun that is actually very tiny in a solar system just on the outskirts of a very enormous galaxy full of stars and planets that are incredibly bigger than ours in a universe full of billions and billions of galaxies that have billions and billions of stars each. So we really are nothing when you think about it in comparison to the universe as a whole or even just our galaxy as a whole. We are just a speck floating around in the infinite universe endlessly and when we die within about four generations we are going to be completely forgotten about and it's going to be like we never existed at all i mean think about it do you even know who your great grandparents were or your great great grandparents no you probably don't even know who is four steps above you in your own bloodline right that's how quickly people get forgotten about once we are gone soon after that it's almost like we never existed at all and when someone in your family or a friend dies how long is it before you stop talking about them and thinking about them for the most part so once you're gone it's like you almost never even existed at all because this reality is not the true reality it's not even real it is just an illusion and to go into the science of this in yet another way computational scientists have actually used computer simulations to compute the probability that this reality we live in is not real and is actually just a computer simulation and they have found that it is 100% probable that we are probably basically just living in a matrix like computer simulation so you're probably wondering well what does this all even really mean to me I mean it's a bit overwhelming to think about I don't even like thinking about it it's kind of unpleasant to think about right so you're probably wondering why I'm even sharing all of this with you and for someone whose work it is to make people's lives more meaningful this might make it seem like your life is less meaningful and you might be wondering why I would even be bothering to share this information with you. Well, I'm not sharing this with you to make your life seem less meaningful or to make you depressed and make you feel like, oh, this is just a dark nothing and stuff like that. I'm actually sharing this with you because what this really means is that since this reality is not actually real and is just an illusion, that you are the one who creates your own reality. And there is actually inherent meaning in this, especially if you're spiritual. And if this video has made you feel like the meaning that you thought your life had or that you were giving it has been negated, right, and it's not as meaningful as you thought, then the point here is, is that because this is not real and your mind is the only thing making it real, you can make your life and your reality as meaningful as you want to in whatever ways you want to. Your life in this reality will have whatever meaning that you assign to it, okay? So you can make it mean whatever you want it to. And you can create and change your reality in whatever ways you want to, okay? Because the only thing that makes this reality seem real at all is your own mind, okay? Reality is really just a concept and it comes from your own mind. You create your reality and it is only real because of your own consciousness manifesting it for you. And in reality, you can do do whatever you want with it and create whatever reality you want. Basically think of it like a video game and do whatever the fuck you want with your life, okay? Because it is your life to live and your reality to create for yourself and you can make it whatever you want it to be and do whatever the fuck you want. That is the meaning of this reality not actually being real, <laughs> okay? So just go out there and start living your life in whatever way you want to live it and doing whatever the fuck you want with it.
That concludes this video. Thanks for listening. I hope I mansplained that good enough for you. If you like what you heard, please click the like button. And if you feel you gained some value from this video and would like to give some back, please do so with the PayPal link below because your support helps fund me doing this work and fight the good fight for men like you. If you are ready to take the red pill and wake up from the matrix, well then, I have the perfect book for you. The Bible of Esoteric Knowledge is a super concise, dense, info-packed philosophy textbook written in the same verse format as the Bible, but combining multiple different highly esoteric philosophies such as Taoism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Shamanism, ancient paganism, and a special balance between theoretical physics and metaphysics, along with some special bonus info on the cryptic secrets of sexuality and death. This book will stimulate your intellectual philosopher's mind like no other, especially since it's a lot shorter and easier to read than most philosophy books made up entirely of run-on sentences and never-ending paragraphs and, you know, can be quite boring and exhaustive. Full of all the most fascinating mystical secrets of the universe, gratify your inner geek and quench your thirst for meaning with the Bible of Esoteric Knowledge. Get your copy at the link below for a special sale price today. Enlightenment has never been so easy.